Hello, hello, and this is Maester Alix showing you a demo of the game MechWarrior Online. A uh, few of my friends and I play this, and uh, a few more of my uh, friends online have no idea what this is about or like, so I decided to make this video here to show you. Alright, so for those of you who are not familiar with MechWarrior, especially MechWarrior Online, the game is basically giant stompy robot fun. That's just to put it simply. And uh, to show you what that's like, I'm actually going to start with a brand new mech and go through the basics. So, I have decided today to purchase myself a Shadow Cat. Now, uh, the significance of this, there are four classes of mechs. Light, medium, heavy, and assault. The Shadow Cat is a medium. Now, with there are different models of Shadow Cat. The Prime... The A, the B, the C, the uh, the P, the C, and the H. Now, uh, <laughs> without going into many of the specifics, basically it's different abilities and different loadouts. Now, what makes this uh, this one better or different is it is a not a battle mech but an omni mech, which means we can trade out some of the parts wholesale so even though it says if you look here on the screen that just popped up on the top left corner it says hard points and there's ballistic zero energy one missile one it means it only has a place for two guns one ballistic type and one missile type but because it's an omni mech we can change that around so i'm going to buy this using my in-game money and there we go i will purchase yes so, now I'm going to go back home and select it. So, close me down my assaults. This is a gargoyle, by the way. Uh, yeah. So, go to my new Shadow Cat. So, this is a brand new, out of the box Shadow Cat. Uh, being medium, they are. That some mediums can be quite fast, some can have other special tricks, but. Let's go into the mech lab where all, for me, half the fun of the game is had. Uh, column. Where you get to customize things. Like, for example, this has a long range missile uh, which fires 20 at a time. I could take that off, and you can see things change. And on its right arm, I have a heavy large laser which is the long-range beefy laser which has had its range reduced but the damage increased so there we go but let's go back to the expanded view uh, this is a lot of big scary complicated stuff but we're gonna make it easier by taking it all off so first place I always like to start is with the armor at this point there is no reason not to give yourself the maximum amount of armor like I said, at this point. Now, as you see here, this uh, this has an armor enchantment. On the left arm, it has more armor. And the reason why is because this arm has the gun. When you're playing, people like to do this thing called a torso twist. You turn in a more armored part of your mech towards the enemy. So, that left arm is considered a shield arm. So, if up to the armor to max on all the areas that have just the one. The areas that have two, there's a front and a back. So we will... Uh, I have a little formula that I like to use. Okay, so this is a 45 ton mech. So I want at least four. And then the max is 56, so I'm going to add five more because for the, you know, four tens and five tens. Okay, so it's nine, and then that's four and four, so these get eight. You know, results may vary, but y'all can do what y'all want. But that's what I like to do. Since you face the enemy head-on most of the time. Alright, so I have used... So, putting armor on this thing, I have used 29 out of my 45 available tons. So, 
without going into like changing around what arms do what, let's take a look, see, in the mech stats, see if there's any special bonuses. Oh, there is. So, energy weapons, cooldown. So, cooldown is how rapidly they can be fired again. Okay, so yaw speed, clan laser duration. So, yaw is uh, turning, like rotating your torso left and right. So it can rotate a little faster. The gun, the energy weapons fire faster. Clan laser duration, which is uh, longer duration we longer duration lasers fire longer. So it'll take longer for it to deliver all its damage. So it's 2.5% faster. You can gain bonus XP. Missiles fire 15% faster. Heavy laser heat generation. Now this one's important because every weapon in the game generates heat. And if you generate too much heat, your mech shuts down to cool off. So the fact that the heavy laser is uh, generating less heat, that's really nice. And then base armor on the left arm is up by 20 points. This is why it's 28 to 48. However, since I'm a fan of customizing, I'm going to go into these Omnipods and see if there's any uh, other pieces that I may want instead. Okay, so like, this guy's right arm uh, carries a different, uh, sorry, right torso carries a missile hard point where none of the others do, or I could carry an extra laser. Now having two of those heavy lasers might be nice. Left torso, let's see, that one carries an ECM, so I would lose my missiles, but, or more ballistic slots. So as you see, things can be quite customizable. Let's see, and the right arm, I do. So I could have a gun in each arm. So what, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to put on this, take off that arm, put on this one, put on this one. Why are you not letting me do that? I have the money. Oh, I'm looking at right, not left. Hello. Ah, oh, okay. There we go. And if we take off that left torso for the one that gives me stealthiness, that could be quite nice. Alright, so... And none of the legs carry ammo, but that's fine. So what you see the legs I have, so there's a hip, upper leg, lower leg, and foot actuators, basically lets the legs move like legs, and then jump jets. This lets me hit the space bar and jump. Alright, so I've got two. Now, sometimes when you trade out parts, you lose bonuses, but energy range, heat, heat, ER laser generation or heavy laser generation has maintained and laser duration so I have uh, heavy laser heat so let's see heavy lasers of which I've got three choices heavy are uh, large medium and small I already own a large but they do take up four tons each so they might be a little uh they, let's see Looking at the stats. Alright, going from the top down. So can I do this? Hello, without. Ah, uh, no, okay. So I'm gonna have to leave it there. So, type of energy weapon takes three slots on the mech, which I'm pretty sure you can all figure out there. Uh, weighs four tons, which is very heavy. Uh, let's go to like the ER heavy. The, or let's just go by weight. So, your energy weapons go from quarter ton, half ton, one ton, two tons. Four tons and six tons. So, yeah. So, the heavy laser, the heavy lasers are indeed more heavy. But the damage is 18, which is really good. Heat, which has been slightly reduced. Uh, cooldown 5.75. Uh, the cooldown bonus I had previously has been removed, so they'll still fire one every five and three fourth seconds. Duration, uh, 1.55 1. 1. seconds. So it takes nearly, 
what takes just over a second and a half to deliver all the damage. The maximum range is 900. The optimal range, which is uh, where it will deal max damage, is 450 or less. And has a health of 6. So it won't blow up until it takes 6 damage, but generally we don't have to worry about that. So, first thing though, so let's see if we can get away with not ER heavy. Alright, we got 37 out of 45. We're gonna bring that down. And then we're gonna go over to the equipment. And since we can bring an ECM, I would really rather like to do that. So we have 38 out of 45, which is great. So, since we don't need to carry any ammo, since energy is the only kind of gun that does not generate ammo, or does not need ammunition, we're going to do we're gonna want to beef this up. So options include probes, targeting computers, or the very important heat sinks. The thing about late energy weapons is they generate the most amount of heat in the game. If you look down here my heat management, uh, it's rated on a scale of 0 to 2. So at this point 1.34 is not bad, but it could be better. So I'm going to put one heat sink into each arm. And you see the heat sinks take up two slots, but is one ton. And that brings it up to 1.43. And the reason I put it in the arms, now a lot of people put it in the torso. The reason I put it in the arm is if I get the arm blown off, I'm not going to need the extra heat sink anyway. So, okay, maximum armor. Alright, so, what, what these probes do is increases sensor range, speeds up targeting data, and can detect shutdown mechs at close range. And the uh, uh, the heavier one, the full size one, is better. So 15% bonuses, 25% bonuses, 90 meter range, 150 meter range. So that's really nice. Targeting computers increases um, auto cannon, except for shotguns, PPC projectile speeds, laser ranges, so this will increase my range, and critical hit chances, increases sensor range, zoom, and speeds up targeting data. So, both of those things would really contribute to me being able to shoot farther, farther and better. So, since I only need one, I'm going to put the active probe with the ECM, and I'm going to put, uh, oh heck, why not? A full-on targeting computer Mark IV. So, my zooming in is better. My sensor range is 5% longer. Targeting time boost is 53% faster. My beam range is 7% longer, which is really good. And a the critical chances are 1, 5, and 3%. So, previously they could not crit at all, because uh, that's critical chance is pretty rare. There are game. There are weapons that specifically do that generally. So the fact that this actually has any, albeit low chances, is still good. So let's see. Now the range has been. Oh, we'll we'll see that in here. So we're at forty four point nine. So if we could, if we wanted to, we could. Uh, let's see, is there anything that's only, you know, half a ton? Not really is like a mark four mark five we would not have the space for so yeah right now this is a very basic very close to ideal tonnage thing and it's going to cost me a pretty penny but since i have uh about four times more than i need let's go do with it go do that all right so that's the loadout skills now I warn you all: the skill tree may look the skill trees may look intimidating now, but they're not that bad. All right. So first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven overall skill trees. And each has is dedicated to a special thing. So auxiliary is in the game. You can give yourself consumables, which I should go back in my loadout and put in at least one. And these make the consumables either more numerous or work better sensors okay so we can just look target info gathering speed uh, this finds enemy target decay if you lose if you're not pointed at the enemy how long before your computer forgets targeting retention you know 
All of this stuff is basically explained in the title, and if not, if you look in the lower right-hand corner, it will, you know, let you know. So, sensors increases the sensors. Operations. Quick ignition, start up faster, improve your, uh, gyros, is uh, reduced screen shake. Heat containment, increases the maximum heat threshold before your mech shuts down. So, that, you know, that's pretty good. All of this is basically quality of life make the mech run better overall and that's why it's in a general tab jump jets if you have jump jets and you want them to work better you work on this tree mobility similar to operations and, ma and making the mech work better but this is all making it move better okay survival uh yeah improve armor improve structure improve just not dying you know, uh, fall damage, etc. And then firepower tree, the great big tree, is in to make your guns better. Increase the range. Uh, you know, and then there's a few specialty ones, like missile spread over here, or laser duration down here. So basically you got ballistics over here, missiles over here, and then lasers are a little scattered. You got one there, uh... Oh, just the one? Okay. See, one thing I would want to do is go for this laser duration. But, since I have no skills right now for this mech, since I have not used it, I won't worry about it. So, like I said, let's go back to loadout. Consumables. I have one consumable slot, and there's three kinds of uh, consumables. One is uh, to reduce my heat more or less instantly. Once. Uh, airstrike and artillery strikes are... Long range, uh, no, light line of sight, uh, take a few seconds and blow up your enemy from distance, or a UAV, which is a sensor buoy that's launched into the sky, and it's really good for those really fast mechs. And let's see, do I have my speed here? 97.2, since it's under 100, it's not considered really fast, but since I do not know how. The cooling works or if, how I'll be positioning I don't want to take anything just yet so skills me weapon groups this sets up so if you want to fire one or both weapons at the same time you have up to six uh, right now I'm gonna just do twin firing both at the same time see how that works camo spec which is one of my f one of the more favorite things Let's see, do I own any no okay so this is to recolor your mech. Since I don't have any patterns, which is changes how the colors are applied, really doesn't matter. But I do have colors. Click to owned. So let's see. Good old black, gold, black. That's okay. Let's see if we go black, black, gold, if that's better. That's a little bit more of a stripey accent. I think I'm going to go with that. So, and decals, I have, oh, cool. I think I will go with, yeah, tournament supporter. Hold on, why is this not, oh, I see, slot one, there we are. Zoom, scroll wheel, bam. Put my tramp stamp on there that I support the online tournament of this game. Though I do not participate, I do support. So, a little bit of NASCAR right there. So, hit the save button. Yes. Alright, and then here's your first look of the game from inside the cockpit. Uh, generally, you're not you're going to be looking more straight at it, but you can add little uh, customizations and dealies. So, let's see what I have available. Come on. I have an oscillating fan. Since things are going to get hot because I'm using lasers, I'm not adverse to this. Let's see, got a dangling thing. Let's see, hanging item. Got a crane hook. Sure, why not? And preview, it'll sway as you move. And then mounted is stuff mounted to the uh, cockpit wall. And... Generally, I like war horns. 
because when you kill something, they'll make a noise. So I'm going to shut up and preview that. Oh, right. That's why I took that one off. It lasts forever. So, let me give you an example. Uh, this is more common. Yeah, it's very short. Yep. So, I'm going to go with none for now. Now, uh, getting these things, if you see... Uh, the price is all listed in the yellow gold currency. That is the buy for real money. Though you can earn them in game through special events and the like. So you're not you're not totally screwed if you don't want to spend money. Now, if you see, I have 972 gold monies. So if I really wanted one, I could get one. So is there any on sale? No. But you know, should I want one for some reason, I could. But since it's a brand new mech, and I do not yet know how if, if it is worthy of spending money, though, going with that yellow theme, and the uh, radio is new, so. Nice shot. <laughs> Let's see. Tango down. Tango down. Nice. See these? Sorry, the radio war horns are brand new. Let's see, war horns by price so oh well, they're actually the radios are relatively cheap so here let's kill confirmed tango down nice shot you know what i like that i will actually spend a little bit of real money and get that because that's neat and i haven't had one with a radio yet so all right so i've purchased a battle mech i have updated the battle mech now let's actually test it. Let's see, I know the mining collective, so... Here's a uh, basic tutorial, or basic example of what it is like uh, in the game. Of course, this is a t test round, so there's no other team members, and the enemies will not be moving. But this at least will get us an example of what it's like. Alright, so... Okay, so we got this much movement in the... Yaw, pitch. That seems pretty good. Alrighty, moves pretty good. Target acquired. Alright, so if you look in the lower right hand corner, let me see if I can get a better color on the there you go. The clan heavy large lasers have a range of four hundred and ninety two meters, which is great. And so what we can do is shoot the enemy. Okay, firing both at the same time has brought my heat up to 50%, which is way too hot for regular combat. So I'm probably going to want to fire these not as linked, but as opposite. So I will change that up so I can go one, then the other. Alright, that's slightly Target more control. Destroyed. There we go. Slightly more controlled. So this is why we go into the testing ground and check things out so you don't accidentally, you know, do something stupid. Alright, so that is Target a Centurion. Acquired. That is a uh, medium style mech, so we're more or less even ground. Now, as you, as you learn to play, you realize that the Centurion's arm there is a literal shield arm. So that other arm is the arm you want to start shooting. So. Yeah. These weapons are quite damaging, but they are also very hot. And that, and that duration uh, puts you in a rather committed relationship. But, you know, you'll learn. Also, if I forgot to mention... You do have scrolling abilities, and there's even a, uh, almost like a picture-in-picture -picture super zoom later on if you go and get the skills to get it. Well, there went that leg. Heat level critical. 
Oh yeah. Let's see if I can get myself to shut down. Yep. So when you have too much heat, you shut down. Now, depending on how much heat depends on how long you shut down. You really overdo it, and you could be there for critical. You could be there for quite some time. And if you look in the uh, paper doll in the lower left-hand corner there, see that yellow on my torso? That I have damaged myself from overheating, which is, you know, not fun. So let's see if I can get a uh, get a good kill or something on while moving, because just standing there is not how the game works. Target acquired. It's Jenner, it's a nice light mech, so... Yeah. Target destroyed. There we go. Those are one of the fastest, most nasty things in the game. They're not usually terribly well armed, but dang are they fast. Oh, and let's check out my jump jets. So, where you're really looking is on the left. On the main control panel on the left, next to the uh, your th your uh, throttle there, target acquired, and the fuel used fuel for your jump at twenty five percent. But don't don't worry, that does re that does refill. So this is an Atlas. It is an assault mech. It is the biggest walking tanks in the game. They are slow, but my God can they bring the destructive power. So whenever possible, you want to shoot them in the back because, as you saw, you don't put nearly as much armor on the back Target destroyed. as you do the front. Now, as you saw earlier, when I was Target pelting acquired. guys from the front, it took many more salvos than that, where the, you know, Atlas, the big scary guy, took a whole lot more. So there's a catapult a good distance away. So I want to get to like at least 492 or else you know, while I'm hitting, I'm not doing nearly as much damage. I I'm more or less spitting lasers at them. Actually, I can jump this. Hello. Hello! Mickey Mouse mech. Let's cut your arms off. Once these guns reload. There we go. Heat level critical. Yep. Heat level critical. So I'm gonna have to wait just a moment here before I do that again. Heat level critical. Or else I'm gonna do that. Now, I can hit the O button. Override engage. So I don't shut down when I overheat. However, you still take the damage. Which is very unsafe. So I'm gonna chew off the torsos on this guy. Or if I want to be smart, I can just go for the cockpit shot. Or it's that higher one. That's the one. Heat level critical. Yeah. Should you? Be yeah. As you saw in the mech lab, the head does not have a whole lot of armor. So if you can actually get a cockpit shot, that's usually kind of amazing. Target acquired. Heat level critical. Heat level critical. There's a nice little cicada. Another one of those annoyingly fast mechs. Heat level nice critical. Shot. Nice. But yeah, well, right after this, I'm going to get into this mech and record a battle or two, and you are all welcome to join me after that. So, I hope you all enjoy, and I will see you in the game if you'd like. Uh, in the game, I am A-E-L-I-X, you know, really, really surprising. Uh, I do play for the, cl uh, there's... Two major Target factions of the game, acquired. the clan and the inner sphere. I am a clanner. So if you wish to if you wish to fly with me, I will happily I will happily let you. Or happily join you in these battles.
Come on. Target destroyed. So yeah. As I play this as we play this mech more, we can earn skill points and improve things. Get that heat man more manageable, get the fire rate higher, though that will also increase the heat, yada yada. So. Anyway, thank you all for joining me and I hope to see you in flight. Battle well.